Okay, take two. <laughs> Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Amanda, otherwise known as the Tangled Screens Crafter here on YouTube. Um, I started recording this before using my little voice recorder, which has better quality than my, my little microphone, but the rattling of the package covered up almost everything I was saying, so here we go again. <laughs> so, I got a very special unboxing, unpackaging, unbagging, whatever you want to call it, for you today. Well, special for me. Um, I got two custom diamond painting from Kudils, kudils.com. Um, they had, I had reached out to them to see if they wanted to collab, and they offered to do two customs for me. So I'm not sure how much customs usually cost. I looked it up, and, um, I don't know about other sites, but on here, the, the two sizes I got, it looks like one is 24.83, and one is, I think, 19, let me click on it, nope, 21. So, it, to me, that sounds reasonable for a custom, but I've never had one done, so if you know if it is actually expensive, or if it's really cheap, let me know in the comments, please, because I, I'm really curious now, and I have a lot of pictures I wouldn't mind doing as custom if these turn out well. So, so be at me. I will muffle this whenever I edit it. They sent me a cute little Santa hat. So I've got a cute little Santa hat for the holiday season. Alright, which one should I start with? I'm going to start with this one. It doesn't matter which one I start with. But, oh, I don't know what to put. Alright, so the two pictures I chose, I, I probably put, I'll put up a picture right now. Um, this picture is a picture I took. I live in Texas, so we rarely get snow. I live in East Texas. I don't know if other parts of Texas get it, but we don't. And one, one winter, it's been a few years ago, probably four years ago, um, it started snowing like really good and sticking or rattling. And my daughter, who was a teenager at the time she was in high school, she decided to go play in the snow. And I got a picture of her that I absolutely, I got a lot of pictures of her I absolutely loved. That is unclear. But this one is my absolute favorite from that winter. And I figured this would make an awesome diamond painting. I am knocking stuff down off, just off of everything. Okay, so it comes with, you know, a little kit. It's got the same, I, I call it the generic pin. I don't know if you can see that with the glare. But it comes with some baggies, it comes with some tweezers, it comes with some different ends, multi-placer ends, it comes with the wax and the tray. I'll get to that in a minute. And it looks like there's going to be a lot of these browns and stuff. I don't know if you can see the picture on here, because I feel like the picture on here is actually pretty good. A little blurry, but you know, I can see what it's going to look like. And I can see her face. Is that her nostrils? <laughs> I think I see one of her nostrils. The shadow under her hair. For sure her jacket, her hat. She had a cute little hat on. Her apartment in the background. And then snowflakes are falling. And there was, they were big fluffy snowflakes and it looks like they got caught in this pretty well. 
Hopefully they turn out really good. Let me look at the symbols. The symbols are printed really clearly. Looks like they put 40 colors in this. Which I think for what it is, I think that'll work. 40 colors. Like I said, lots of lots of tans, lots of browns, some oranges. The symbols are numbers, letters, and you know, just a few symbols, actual symbols like the little the omega symbol or horseshoe arrow hashtag, stuff like that. Yeah, I don't think there's anything that's going to get too confusing on this. And with a light pad, it'll be even easier. But I can see it. I can see it clearly without a light pad behind it. So that's really nice. It's going to take a little bit to get these creases out. And it came. I don't know how long it usually takes because I've never ordered from Kugels, but it came in like three weeks or so from the time we agreed on the pictures and the sizes and everything. Which basically is like, hey, these pictures, these sizes, because I sent several pictures in, I was like, which of these will work? Because some were a lot busier than others. And um, they're like, how about these two? And I'm like, perfect. And from that that email to I got them, it was maybe three, three and a half weeks, which I feel like that's a good time. Let's look at the drills. Did I say it was a 40 by 50 centimeter? It's a 40 by 50 centimeter. 40 colors. 45 by 55 centimeters. Oh, okay, in the email it said 40 by 50, but the canvas is actually 45 by 55. There's me looking like I don't know what I'm talking about again. Oh, they all come in individual baggies too, which I really like. It makes it easier for me. And they're square. Did I mention it's square? I'm not used to square drills, but I really wanted to do this, the, both of these in square drills, because I feel like they just come out a lot prettier with more detail. Comes with the paper with the picture. With the image and then the 40 different you know the 40 different colors the different symbols for it the DMC collar how many drills I guess for each collar looks like it ranges anywhere from 50 51 to 4222 and then the bags, I guess that is the, probably the size. Last time I looked at one of these, I thought it was how many bags, and got really confused. But this is how many grams it probably is in each bag. Let's look at one of the bags. So yes. So it has the number, the DMC code, and how for the, the weight of the bag, plus the product size and code on it. So if, you know, somehow mistakenly put these aside without the project, you know what project it goes with. I think these are all just regular drills. I don't think there was any AB or anything. We didn't discuss that, so I wasn't expecting any. Let's spread some of these out. So like I said, it's going to be a lot of, a lot of tans, a lot of browns, or some pinks, grays. Her coat was kind of like a olive green, but it came out more of a gray in the picture, so I think it's going to be more of a grayish image, or gray, grayish color in the image, but it's still going to be prettier. Her shirt was a purple. Like I, said, I should have put a picture up so you will know what I'm talking about. But uh, these are some pretty colors. It's a lot of this color. 
which is 779. Not sure what color it is. It almost looks like a purple, like a purpley brown, if that makes sense. Our um, apartments are made out, or they're brick, and they're kind of like a orangey brown brick, so there's going to be a lot of orangey browns and tans in it. Guessing some of these will be in the snowflakes. Oh. I'm not sure when I'm going to start this. I have so many projects planned that I really want to start it right away. So we'll see what happens. Okay, put this up. Alright. Hopefully I'm not boring you. I keep getting lost in my own thoughts while looking at it. what this is. It says gift. I'll look that in a minute. I'm really excited. Oh, yay! They gave me DMC number stickers. That was really nice. I wonder if these actually, I'll go and look if these are, um, they look like they're the release papers. I can't remember what they're called. I don't use, use them, but I've been wanting to. You know, so you can just take the plastic off and put these down and, and just move, remove the section that you want to work on. That's what it looks like they are because there's several in there. I'm not going to try to open that right now. It's really nice that they sent me gifts when they're sending me these already. Okay, more rattling. what the adhesive on those things are great I should have already had a picture up but if not for some reason I don't think you can really see it but I thought my daughter looked like a princess at her prom we went and we found the dress and it's like the first time she saw it she was like that's it but she tried on other dresses but she ended up with this one and I thought she looked just gorgeous in it and then I did her hair because we're kind of poor. <laughs> Not poor, but you know, we, we don't have money to go like hairdresser and and most of the hairdressers around here you'd have to had both months in advance for prom time. So it was just so I did her hair and I think it turned out kind of cute. And we picked out jewelry and, and it was such a fun mother daughter bonding experience just getting the prom dress. And we were determined because I never went to prom. And I was determined that she wouldn't miss out because I know it's not, it's its just, it's not important in the whole like scheme of things, you know, like in your life, but it's just something that you can look back on and be like, well, I went and it was fun or it wasn't fun or, you know, I saw these people and everybody was beautiful and it just seems kind of magical. My son got to go to his too. So, all right, this comes with another one of the kits like I just showed with the little zipper bags and tweezers, the pin with the extra multi-placers, the wax, the white full tray. I like the little funnel trays. Let me show you this canvas. Okay, this one is 45 by 55 also, with 40 colors also. I don't know if they go above 40 colors ever. What was funny about her dress is her and her friends were keeping their dresses secret from each other until they had their big reveal on, on the day they went to take their pictures. And one of her best friends at the time had the same dress. <laughs> and then, you know, they would like, they were both blue and then their other friend had a red dress. So they would flank, you know, one on each side of it. It almost looked like they were like the other girl's entourage. And they were the same make and everything, except I felt like they were very slightly different shade. Like, so slight that you'd have to be in the right light to even notice it. But I am rambling. Let's talk about this. 
Okay, once again, like I said, 40 colors. It's the same mix of, exact same mix of numbers, letters, and symbols. It looks like it is clearly printed. I didn't check the stickiness, but yeah, it's really sticky, so that's good. It's sticky in the way you want it to be. I have one I'm working on now that I can't even move the drills when I put them down because it's so sticky that they just adhere to it immediately. And I like this kind where it's sticky and they're going to stay, but you can still kind of move them a little bit if you get them placed wrong. Yeah, it's printed really clearly. I kind of wonder what's going on here. I'm not sure what that color is. 790. I'm assuming that's like a shadow under her chin and behind her neck. I hope that looks okay. It just depends on. The, I can see. <laughs> again, I can see her nostril, her nose, and her mouth, and her eye. So I think it's going to come out with okay detail. Got several colors in the dress, so I think the dress is going to be really pretty. She had like flowers and trees, and she was sitting on stone steps. Which, like I said, you should have already seen the picture. I should have put one up. So oh, I think this is going to turn out so lovely. And both of these are going to be on my wall, and she's going to be embarrassed every time she sees herself because she hates herself in pictures and does not think she looks like a princess. She thinks she looks like an idiot. <laughs> More rattling. Okay, this also comes with the sheet with the picture, which I cut these out and put them in a little journal. Now that I've started a diamond painting journal. Again, it has all the, the number, the symbol, the DMC code. How many drills? This one looks like it goes from anywhere from fit, oh no, 28 up to 4,355. The only problem I'm seeing with this is they got off on their printing, so some of the symbols are not in their boxes. But I mean, this is just the paper that you can check to make sure you have all the colors and everything in the right amount, so it's not a big deal on this. these colors. I hope they're coming out because if I have my light shining on it then there's a glare. There's going to be some pretty blues because her dress was just a really pretty shimmery blue. greens for the leaves and oh that's a really deep green that's nice greens and a little bit of flowers that was peeking through I think it's flowers might be spoon something behind the tree I like to think it's flowers light colors perhaps for her pale pale skin because she is a pale pale girl Pretty pink. Grays for the stones. It was like it was kind of like mossy stone steps. So I think it's just gonna be really pretty and I think 40 colors. Like I said, I wish it could have been more, but I don't think I've seen one with more from some of a lot of these companies. I mean I'm doing one currently with more colors than that, but I don't think yours. I hadn't seen many. Yeah, more rattling. And that was also square. I think I forgot to mention that, but yeah, both of them were square. Square drills, whole coverage. 45 by 55 yeah. centimeters, 40 colors each. So the only thing different between the two were the actual image. Um, if you have not been on Coot, Coup deals. Let me get this up and tell you what all they have. Coup deals looks like they do they only do diamond painting? No, let's see what's in here. 
That's a slightly special shaped diamond. Yeah, it looks like they only do diamond cleaning. I'm confused because they have a they have two separate they have a personalized DP and photo customized. I'm not sure what the difference is. It looks like the same thing. So I'm not sure why there's a difference. They do have a wholesale option with a discount code. Depending on how much you buy, you save more. This is all in pounds or sterling. I'm, I'm not sure the proper term, but like if you spend over 300 pounds then you get 5% off. If you spend over 500 pounds you get 8% off and so on. Special corporate co cooperation models and discounts for wholesale diamond paintings. They are responsive if you have to email their support. They're, they're pretty responsive. They get back to you pretty quick. Let's see. So they have a section for new arrivals, hot, all for you know, the zone, you know, where you can see all of them for a certain price. They have AB drills, full rounds, full squares, and then they have the separate categories for like cartoon, animals, heart, love, festival, religion. They have featured collections like Disney, Care Bear, Harry Potter. Ooh, let's look what's under Harry Potter. Oh yeah, they have some... Yep, I'm going to make a wish list on this site because I love Harry Potter and they have some of the ones I've been eyeballing. And they are I, they look like they're pretty good price. Um, they're one of those sites like some of the other ones where they always have new things coming in. And it looks like a lot of them you can get an image in a bunch of different sizes. Like I'm looking at one that I have recently got from another place and I don't think it's going to turn out that well because it had barely any colors and it was kind of small. I won't mention the name since I am doing the Kuvils opening unboxing but um, I kind of wish I got it from here. And they go anywhere. Um, this one image I'm looking at they go from 30 by 45 centimeter full round or full square all the way up to 80 by 120 centimeter full round or full square so yes I'm going to definitely be making me a wish list on this site. Let's see they have a mystery diamond painting section. They have diamond painting tools. Let's see what's under the mystery diamond painting. So it looks like you just choose a size and they send you a mystery piece. They have a section called Amazon Unclaimed Mystery Diamond Paintings. You save like 31% off of what you would have paid. Mystery Random. Starts anywhere from $5.99. What, I don't know how they say it. Pound $5.99. Oh, it just changed to USD for me. So $7.44 USD up to what is that? 13. I think 13.65 is the most expensive one I see on the $13.65 USD on the mystery diamond paintings. I know I'm kind of rambling, but I'm just I hadn't actually explored this site much. I mostly just looked at some of their diamond paintings when I first came across them. They have they have those little. Have you seen the little adhesive edges? They, that look like fancy, not scroll work exactly, but they almost look like wooden frames, but they're adhesive. They have those. I've looked at those and wonder, my wall's kind of porous, so some stuff doesn't stick. So I've been afraid to try those. But it'd be nice to be able to just make your own little adhesive frame for your diamond paintings to stick on the wall. And that would probably be a lot cheaper and easier to switch them out whenever you want to change whatever you have on your wall. They have whiteboards. They have little organizer containers and storage boxes. They have the drill pin holders, the little squishies. They have the resin painting pins. I don't know why I can't talk. They have the rollers. They have the um, little glue, the little clay, I call them wax, the little pots for the wax. 
you know, the stickers, both like what they sent me for free and the, the colored ones round and square, rectangle. They have the sealer. So yeah, they have pretty much anything you might want when it comes to diamond painting. And I figured since they focus on diamond painting, they probably have really good products since they're not all over the place. They just have diamond painting. They just focus on diamond painting. So yeah, go check out Coo Deals. Um, there is a discount code in my, um, the description box. It's not a personalized one for me or anything. I think it's just one that they have for anybody. And uh, I think it saves like two pounds or three dollars on an order. I don't know if it's like, I didn't see if it was limited to an amount or not, but um, their free shipping's over a certain amount. I know it says a uh, pound 99, so 99 pounds. I don't know how much that is in USD. Cause it keeps switching on me for some reason. It must be something new with my browser. Free shipping for orders over the little L with the line side, 99. Just in case I'm saying it wrong, it's not pound or sterling. I don't want to sound like an idiot, but I've always, I grew up dealing with USD, so that's all I know. Um, so thank you for listening to my rambling this long, if you made it this far. Um, thank you for watching my video. Um, I appreciate you sp spending time with me. It's really important to me that, you know, I can connect with some of my viewers. So please comment if you want. Tell me what you think of the pictures. Tell me if you've done any custom. Tell me if you have other sites that are, you think do a better job at customs or just diamond paintings in general. To, if you want to see me, like, unbox from a certain company because you want to know what it's like, let me know. I'll reach out to them if they haven't reached out to me. Um, feel, ah, I'm sorry, Kate Top. Feel free to um, follow me on any of my social media. I post a lot on everything. I mean, every time I upload here, I'm usually uploading on other stuff too. I share it everywhere. Um, I share my progress pictures on the things I work off screen on. I share those in Facebook and Instagram and sometimes Pinterest. And then I share all my videos in Pinterest. I share a lot of things in Pinterest. So, and usually if you follow me, I follow you back. If you want me to, I mean, if you have content, if you're just, you know, someone just on here to watch, then, you know, I don't have to follow you back. I'm just kind of obsessive about following people back. I just figured tit for tat. All right. I am definitely rambling now. Um, tell me if there's anything you want to see on my channel and I will see what I can do. I cross stitch, I knit, I diamond paint, I'm learning to crochet, I draw, I paint a little bit, I'm learning. I'm not very good at it. Um, I do a little bit of macra macrame. I'm going to do some for Christmas again, I think. I did some last year. I do a little bit of beading, like keychains and stuff. I just, if it's a craft that I can just sit down and do, I'd probably do it. Some of the stuff I haven't done in years, I haven't like paint by numbers, even though I do have a kit. I haven't done that for a while. Um, I do like to color, but I don't really do coloring books. I usually just draw something and then use my alcohol markers or my prism colors or something to color it in. But if any of this interests you, please like, subscribe, maybe share, and let me know what you want to see. And thank you so much. I will stop this long goodbye and end it here. Thank you so much. See you next time. Bye-bye.